Hey, my name is Samar. I also go by Sam or First Time Panner. Any of those you want to call me, you can. This will be my first update to my That's So 2000s Project Pan Round 3. And yes, that was my pinky that you heard cracking. Sorry, it just does that in every video. Um, but I have to upload this today. It's supposed to go up uh, today on the 16th. So I'm going to be as brief as possible just so... I don't have to spend too much time editing but uh, basically this was a project that I created um, a few years ago now and this is the third round so the third year that we're doing this is in collaboration with Pantastic Pantastic Ladies. Okay clearly I'm gonna be stumbling over my words today but um, it's a project all about the 2000s uh, as the title suggests and all the prompts are 2000s based and it's randomized and um, Basically, all of the detailed info will be in my introduction, which I'll link below, and I'll also link the playlist, um, which should have everyone who's doing this project. Um, if you've done a video and I've somehow missed you, I'm sorry, please let me know, and I'll go add you to the playlist and go and watch your video. Yeah, I think that's it, so I'm gonna get started. I have two rollouts uh, this update, which is super exciting, um, so I think I'll start with those. The first one I actually don't have with me because I threw away the packaging already. Um, it was for the prompt Harry Potter, which is anything magical or related to magic, um, and I rolled in my Charlotte Tilbury... I, I don't remember the exact name, but it was the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Concealer Samples. Um, and it was just a little sample card and I finished it. I used it, I think I used it like all in one sitting. Um, I'll, I think I took a picture of the like little foil packaging after I used everything up. So if I do have a picture, I'll post it on the screen, but I used it fairly, very early on in the month. Um, and it's gone now. The next prompt uh, that I finished is Friends, which is something that you've been on a break from. And uh, I chose my Replica Jazz Club perfume sample because this is definitely like a fall winter scent for me. And when I rolled this in, we were in the beginning of spring, so um, it definitely did not fit the season. So that's why I wasn't using it at that time, but um, this was perfectly fine to use. I don't have to wear things based on the season. And I found that I liked using this with, um, my, uh, the Mix Bar Vanilla Bourbon. I'm like looking at it. The Mix Bar Vanilla Bourbon Body Spray. Cause I don't really like this on its own, but I actually did, um, I think it was during the Sephora sale. Uh, I bought a travel size of this because even though I don't like it on its own because like there's one like scent note in here that is like too much for me if I just wear this on its own but if I just do like one little spray of this and put the vanilla bourbon on top it smells so nice um so I ended up buying like a small version of this so i guess it was good that i did roll it in the next three items are staying in and the f i can't remember which order i rolled these in but the first one i'll talk about is for the prompt frosted tips with which is something frosty or icy and i brought in my natasha denona retro glam single in the shade flutter and this is just something that i got as like a free gift with purchase a while ago like probably a few years ago now um my goal is to hit pan in this i was gonna watch this but i've been like touching a bunch of stuff and i don't want to dig my fingers in there but um i'm nowhere near hitting pan which i didn't think would happen the first update um but i am wearing this now it's my inner corner highlight and it's been the inner corner highlight that i've been wearing almost every time uh that I've worn an inner corner highlight. That's kind of hard to say that many times. But um, I do have a little bit of a dip going on. You can probably see when I move it around like this. So, and I even, because like initially I was just using my finger and I realized that was going to get me nowhere. So I started using a pencil brush. So it's even more targeted now. And I think with just consistent use, which I think will be easy because I really like this for an inner corner highlight. Um, I think I've said that like four times now, <laughs> but I think with consistent use, I should be able to like get this out maybe in two months, maximum three months, I think, because I mean, the 
with the pencil brush I've noticed some really good progress so I'm gonna guess two months but say no more than three months this will be a gold met and I'm really excited to have another pan in my collection. Next was for the Prompt Brats dolls which is anything that exaggerates your features and I rolled in my Kofi eyeliner in the shade Cheeky Chiku which is just a brown eyeliner because I feel like uh, dark eyeliners really bring out my eyes and I feel like I already have pretty big eyes so I like to exaggerate them because they're my favorite feature on myself personally so I always unless I'm doing like super light makeup I always wear eyeliner in my waterline um, and like I tight line I am wearing eyeliner today but it's a black one it's not this one but my goal is to finish this so I have this much left and I've made pretty decent progress on this. I'll show you what it looks like on the paper. So just in this past month, I've used that much, which isn't like too drastic of a change, but considering I'm splitting my attention between um, brown eyeliner and black eyeliner every day, it's kind of like either or, I'd say that's pretty good progress. And considering um, how much I've made, I would say another two updates and this could be done. Last is the prompt, the Lizzie McGuire movie, and that's um, a product that is a dupe for a very expensive or very hyped product. I rolled in my e.l.f. Sheer Slick lipstick in the shade Black Cherry because it's supposed to be a dupe for Black Honey and I actually own Black Honey because um, I got it in a Sephora Favorites pack last year but I still don't think I've ever used it because every time I reach for something like it, I'm reaching for this one. Um, so anyway, my goal is to use this 24 times because we're in the year 2024 and I've already used it 12 of those times. I'm wearing it now on top of a different lipstick. This is so versatile. You can, of course, wear it alone, um, just super sheer. You can also build it up to be like, it doesn't get super opaque like this color, but um, you can build it up a little bit or you can, as I'm like wearing it now you can put it on top of something else and i really love this combination specifically it's my revlon lipstick uh in mink with this on top and it looks like a mauve lipstick you can't see the purple as much right now maybe i'll put a little bit more on but it just I feel like, okay, you can see it better on camera now. Um, it looks like a mauve lip, and I love mauve lipsticks. If you watch my May Beauty Recap video at the end of this month, um, you'll see I bought another mauve lip product. But anyway, I did add a line marking to see how much progress I would make in those 24 uses, and it's pretty pitiful. In those 12 uses already, that's how much progress I've made it's like barely even a new line um I mean I'm pretty sure I'll have this done by next update because I'm wearing it a lot in this combination and it's so easy to wear anyway so just another 12 uses but I'm honestly wondering like will I even make any more progress in those 12 uses because there was barely any I don't know it's just a bit silly to me that so much use just amounts to like the tiniest tiniest bit of progress like in the line markings i have another one of these sheer slick lipsticks in a different project and my goal is to finish it i might have to change my goal on that because we're already halfway nearly halfway through the year i just realized my camera was crooked this whole time so i hope i fixed it now sorry about that um but on to my roll-ins and i'll post a video or like a screen recording of when I was rolling in my two new items. The two prompts that I got were VHS and my lip gloss is popping. So um, for my lip gloss is popping, cause that's fun to say, uh, that is just any lip gloss. And I'm rolling in my little Fenty Beauty mini gloss bomb in the shade Fenty Glow. This is like the original Fenty gloss bomb color. And I got this, I think as a point perk from Sephora. I don't know why I'm showing you the doe foot. Uh, this is brand new. I've never used it. And my goal will actually be to finish this because um, I'm trying to get as many empties this year as I can. This will probably take me a while. 
Um, but yeah, we'll just see, we'll see how much progress I can make in this next coming month. I'm already panning so many lip glosses. This is a dumb idea. VHS is uh, something you have to wind up. If you were there for the VHS days, you remember. I feel like JLo right now. If you know, you know. <laughs> but anyway, I chose my CoverGirl. This is like a lip balm, lip topper type product, but um, you do have to wind it up um, like this, as most lip products you do. This I got in, um, I can't remember. I think it's called Outlast. I got this so long ago it was like this plus a liquid lipstick that came in a little pack they've been sold since like the beginning of time so you've probably seen them before but um i got mine in the shade canyon and i actually had it in a project before but that liquid lipstick went bad this one is still fine like it smells like cotton candy it smells so good but anyway the point is you would put on that liquid lipstick and then you would put this on top because it like moisturizes it so that your lips aren't super dry and crackly like original liquid lipsticks were but um i still have this even though the liquid lipstick is gone so my goal will be to finish this i have this much left and i'll show you what it looks like on the paper this is how much i have left and i don't think it's gonna take me well i shouldn't say that because look how long this is gonna take me hopefully this won't take me too long um because i want to finish this up i'm wearing or at least in projects, I have quite a bit of liquid lipsticks. Or like I don't have too many lipsticks, but they take so many uses to finish. So I'm going to be wearing liquid lipstick a lot. So I'm hoping that I can use this to make it, you know, more tolerable for my lips. Uh, and I probably also could just keep this in my purse and sometimes use it as a lip balm if I ever need to. So there are a few different ways I'm thinking I could use this. Um... I'm almost done with the current purse lip balm that I have in like a different project so hopefully this won't take me too long to finish but that's it for this update. I'm gonna go edit this video now. Hopefully I can get it up on time. Click on the hashtag or um, click on the playlist that I'll have linked in my description to see everyone else who's doing this project. Uh, you can join late if you want it's no problem it's not even that late jamie just posted her introduction yesterday so she'll be in the playlist as well um but yeah come join if you like to if you think this looks fun but other than that um thank you so much for watching i hope you have a great day bye